Okay, so uh, I've now got the best version uh, of Ubuntu that I've tried so far, uh, and that's partly because, uh, thanks to James Chambers, uh, this is a 64-bit working version, and I haven't had to do anything to alter it, so I just installed uh, the image that he supplies on this site, uh, and then I uh, installed Zubuntu from there, um, and, and it actually works really, really well. I'm really pleased with it. Uh, it's good performance in YouTube as well, so if I click on my video here, uh, you'll see that it comes up pretty quick after the advert. Is it an advert I can skip? No. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, that went away. Oh, there you go. So it seems to be pretty good, even full screen. It's uh, It seems to be suffering from less glitches than I've had with some other YouTube um working on different operating systems. So I'm pleased with that. Uh, but the one thing I wanted to look at today, uh, oh, and I like the way you can you can very easily put things on the desktop. Um, and, uh, and as an overall operating system, this is really nice to use. So it's it's pretty pretty fast and very logical. And, uh, and I really like it, but I'm not, not really doing that in this video. What I wanted to show was PPSSPP, uh, which I've installed, and I'll show briefly how to install that while it loads up. And I'm using this with an Xbox 360 wired controller, which I didn't have to configure. Uh, I haven't changed any of the buttons or anything. Everything's worked straight away. So if I click on the game, and let's just load the state that I got to. There you go, because I've turned off the music. Uh, and this is running at two times, uh, is it rendering, I think they call it? I'll show you in a minute. But uh, but actually it works really nicely. Really impressed with it. It's very smooth. Nice little trick there. Uh, and I've, I've had to change very little. I haven't really messed about with the settings very much on this. And, and it really does handle really nicely. If I want it to go faster, you can see that it's holding 30, 31 frames a second there. Uh, if I quit out of that and change the settings, uh, the one thing that's obviously going to help it is to run it in one times rendering resolution. Uh, and depending on your size of screen, this may look good or not. Uh, I'm sat right close to my TV and so it looks a bit, rough, uh, a bit ropey, but it is uh, it's lovely and fast and very responsive, really impressed with it. But obviously it's designed for a PSP, which is a tiny screen. Uh, so if you want it to look better, you can up that rendering resolution. Anyway, so GTA is working really well, really impressed with it. Uh, occasionally the operating system comes up with, a, with an error, but it doesn't really say what the error is. Uh, and I just close that window down. But uh, I have found it to be very stable and, and just really, really nice to use. So I'm going to play around with this more and install some more emulators on it uh, and see how they go. Uh, I also had uh, a comment on YouTube about my overclocking settings. I had a comment saying overclocking the GPU to 750 is impossible right now. Uh, it will fall back to 500 megahertz set it to 600 megahertz. So I did some tests uh, to see if this was the case uh, because I'd been recommended to try 620, 650, 750 either in the comments or, or through other means. Uh, and so I'd stuck on 750 because it didn't crash and it did work but it turns out that 750 uh, doesn't knock you back to 500 megahertz. It actually pretty much performs exactly the same as 600 megahertz. So there's not a lot of point in going above the 600. Although if I've got it on that and the, uh, the firmware changes and then it allows you to, to go higher, then obviously it'll automatically clock to the higher speed. But at the moment, I'm leaving mine at 750 because it, it made no difference for me uh, between 600 and 750. But when I put it back to 500, it dramatically changed. Um, Anyway, I'm going to look at this operating system definitely more. I haven't got a lot of time because I've got to get to work. But uh, I'm really impressed with it so far. Uh, this may be a keeper um, because it's 64-bit. It's nice and snappy. Uh, I'm hoping that emulators and things like that work really well on it. So I'm going to explore further. Uh, and I'm running on a standard SD card. Uh, there is a On the page, there was a test to show you... Uh, that you could upload your performance. And I don't know, I didn't really look fully through it, but I'll see if I can do that uh, to sort of help as uh, obviously a lot of work has been put into porting this over. So yeah, on this page, 
there is somewhere further down uh, it talks about what could cause your operating system to be slower and it and it says that the SD card is a big factor uh, here we go under performance storage uh, you can see that you can run this script and it will show well let's let's just do that shall we open up terminal I don't know if it automatically uploads it uh, or I have to submit my results well that seemed to work pretty quick I realized I could put this side by side but never mind right so and the last bit and let's see what happens hopefully this doesn't take long because I've got to get to work and also while it's doing that in the background uh, for sound I still couldn't get my uh, TV to give the sound oh look clock speed 2000 core 750 interesting that it's picked all that up yeah, so the HDMI uh, side of it, I you can see at the bottom of the page it says no display HDMI. I omitted the various different things to try and make it that I got sound and I still didn't get sound through the system, but Bluetooth works great. Uh, so I had it going through a Bose speaker, but the speaker's working fine, the sound is great, uh, and oh, there you go, Bose Revolve Sound Link, so that's working as well. And while it's doing that, I'll show you the three videos of uh, my results with overclocking the GPU. Uh, so I tried it with, uh, so version 1 was uh, at 750 MHz, and I got around about 23 to 24 uh, frames per second. And version 2 was at 500 MHz, and I got uh, 22 to 23. Uh, and then on... Uh, the third one I tried it at 600 and I got 23 to 24 consistently. Uh, I occasionally got it to show 25 on 750 and 600. Uh, this was running at three times render so I was deliberately trying to make it that the system was struggling more so that I could show a, a difference in frames per second. So yeah, it's 750 doesn't seem to hamper it. It seems to fall back to the same as 600. So there's no reason not to to set it at 750 from what I could see, uh, but I can see the logic if it only goes up to 600 to set it to that. So you do whichever one works for you. So I put my uh, name of my card in there and also my name so it will show up on that list. It looks like it automatically uploads it. Uh, so here we go. So I'll take a photo with my iPad. So where's my score then? Score 1027. So then if I go back to that page, uh, Raspberry Pi, USB booting guide, is that the one? No, storage benchmarks. I wonder if it will be updated straight away. So there's the benchmark. So if I do control F, does that work? Yeah, finding page, Lee PSP. Okay, so maybe it needs to... Yeah, it doesn't seem to be there yet, does it? Yeah, I think it must get submitted, but it doesn't doesn't immediately go up there. So let's have a look at my... So someone there has got... You can see SanDisk Ultra is, what, 702. Uh, and mine was a Samsung Evo. And what did I get? My score was... 1027. So in the mix, some are much lower. So you can see how much difference the card makes to that, to that overall test. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.